Hello and welcome to Shogun Total War Let's Play Campaign. I'm gonna start a new campaign on expert difficulty to make things more interesting. Okay, so what the clans I can choose? Well, first of one, first of them is uh, Shimazu, situated in the Kyushu Island in the southwest of Japan. They have more minuses than pluses in my opinion. As pluses, their position is not very exposed. Most of the provinces don't neighbor other clans and can be left undefended. If they secure the other two provinces on the island, they can focus on offensive, one enemy at a, at a time, they cannot be hit in the back. Also, they can recruit and maintain Odachi samurai at a lower cost. Not very useful, and I, I don't think you can recruit any Odachi in the beginning. As minuses, they have a lowest income of all the class, uh, clans, and only 8 units to start with, out of which 2 are peasants. Second one, Mori, situated in the west of Honshu, has pluses, I don't think they are that exposed, and can recruit and maintain warrior monks at a lower cost. Useful, of course, not in the beginning, I don't think they can recruit any warrior monks in the beginning. But, because warrior monks are the best troops available, that will be useful if you can survive the beginning of the game. They also start with 14 units, that's not bad. Well, four, four of them are Yarashigaro, but they can they have enough troops to control their provinces and also go on the offensive. As minus is uh, low income, poor provinces, so uh, that's it with Mori. Let's move to Oda. Oda, sounds familiar, right? I think Oda Nobunaga was the war, warlord that almost uh, united all of Japan. Well, what can we say about uh, Oda? They are situated in the center of Honshu. As pluses, they have very far fertile provinces with very high income. They start with 16 units, 10 of which are peasants, really, with very poor morale, not really useful. But they can recruit and maintain Yarashigaro at a lower cost, so they have massive army, they can have massive armies that can compensate maybe for the poor morale. So, uh, another, another, things, another thing, uh, pluses, mm. that's it for pluses, as for minuses, I, none that I can think of, I think because they are situated in the center, some will say they are exposed, but they can also attack, pick their targets, they also can expand in here, in uh, Shikoku Island, which is owned entirely by rebels, so that maybe sounds easy I don't know how, it I how easy it is fourth one is Imagawa Imagawa uh, have split domains in the center of Ko uh, Honshu and north of Kyushu as plus is they have good income they start with 12 units but after we uh, well, very good units actually none uh, of which are peasants they also have two ninja to start with uh, what else? They have a uh, good income. I think I said that already. They also can use those ninja to kill some of the uh, enemy generals. Although there is a small chance those ninja are not very experienced to start with. And later, because they can recruit ninja and shinobi for a lower cost, they can wreak havoc on their neighbors, on, or on their enemies, by inciting rebellions and killing their generals and leaders. But let's try to. As uh, minuses, their lands are, of course, divided, split, they have four silver split, and they will be probably a prime target for Shinobi, uh, Shimazu, and um, some other clans over here. Next one is Takeda. Takeda have split lands just like Himagawa in the center and southwest of Honshu. As pluses, they have good income. They have best troops to start with, they have 11 units, 
a very good unit actually. It's a very offensive army with six cavalry units. They can recruit them and take cavalry at a lower cost. That's the best bonus I think for of all the clans because there are three types of uh, cavalry. It's not just the Ariashigaru like with Voda or warrior monks as with uh, Mori. So they have three cheaper units. Well, as a minus, yeah, it's a very exposed um, position. Probably Mori will attack their lands over here. But that's it. They, they are looking like very fun to play with because of those cavalry, even at the, the start. Next one, Hojo. Not a lot going. Not a lot going on for them. They have. Uh, they are situated in the center east of Honshu. They have very rich provinces. Some of which, or if not most of which, are easily defensible because they have a river. So you have to, to cross the bridge. So you can. They can defend the bridges with a lot, uh, a low amount of troops. Their income is very high. They can construct construct castle at a lower cost. Not very useful in my opinion. His minuses, they start with only 8 units, out of which 2 are peasants. Last playable one, it's Uyasugi. They are in the north of Honshu, or better say, northeast of Honshu. In a very secure position, as plus as they have access to cheap archers that will be useful throughout the game. They also have uh, some of the high income provinces. As minuses, none that I can think of. I think they are best suited. I mean, they are, they are probably the easiest clan to play with. Uh, last one, not selectable, not playable. They are the rebels and ronins. They pretty much consist of small clans that own only a province. Some uh, provinces are owned by uh, independent warrior monks that I don't want to deal with in the beginning because they are very powerful. Um, also some, probably, easier province to conquer won't by rebel peasants. And of course, because they don't have a, a, a leader, they cannot be played with. So that's it. Who should I play with? Well, actually I decided uh, before that I will play with Takeda. It's only gonna be a playthrough, so I better pick something that I can have fun with. So. Um, it's not that easy because they have split provinces. I, I'm pretty sure Mori will attack over here as fast as they can because they have low income, so they need more money, more land. They can be attacked over here, and I'm not good in general. I don't pay attention to diplomacy that much because I don't trust the AI. <laughs> they really have no honor. They will stab you in the back. So, yeah, they can attack, but in the beginning, but it's not gonna be easy. Okay, so I'm gonna start now. The year is 1530. For 200 years, the Ashikaga Shogunate has ruled Japan from their capital in Kyoto. The recent Onin War has shown that they no longer have the power to control Japan's great clans. The time has come for a new warrior to claim the title of Shogun. Japan is divided between ruthless warlords Armies grow stronger, only to be depleted in the frequent vicious battles that give this era its deserving name, Sengoku Jidai, the age of the country at war. Year after year, the endless plains that divided the clan's territories are stained with the blood of thousands of brave samurai, fighting for their each lord and for their honor. When necessary, accept help from others, not of our lands. Gaijin can be useful pawns in your campaign, as they bring guns from overseas. If they become a nuisance, they should be expelled from our shores, or even eliminated. When there is no other way, assassination can be instrumental in gaining victory. Even a general who is invincible in battle is as vulnerable as a child when asleep. Use the men of the shadows for they excel in the deliverance of death by night. No one is untouchable. Honor is everything to samurai. 
A man who loses face and his honor must then also lose his head. This is Bushido, the way of the warrior. Follow these rules of wisdom that have been handed down through generations, and your victory will be complete. Japan can be ruled completely by only one man, a great warrior, general, and strategist. To become shogun will require battles to be won with the mind as well as the sword. Now is your time. Let a total war begin. Okay, so here I am. I'm gonna look for an alliance with Yamagawa first. Second is I'm gonna attack Hojo. They have a very rich province here. You can see that, right? Hmm, thinking about this. Yeah. Okay, recruit some more troops. What else can I do in here? This is not good. Try to be less pierdos. <coughs> Probably the smartest decision is to, to abandon all of them provinces. 130, 155. This is because he has a, a port. Uh, yeah, not too bad. All of them are valuable. This is easily defendable. This has a fort. I think I can defend them for a while. And maybe Mori will get in trouble with some, <laughs> some other guys. Cause Okay. That can be a pain. Okay, that's it. Find it. Uh. Mm. Okay. Where is the enemy? Okay, so we have a bridge there. Huh? One unit of VR is samurai and two samurai archers, okay. I have to sacrifice one of the Yaris samurai units. That will be in a reserve. Here, here and here. They, if you look, if you want to take a look, look how much land they take. Okay. The key, actually the key in here is losing as few troops as possible. Like everywhere. I mean the battle is no problem. To, <laughs> to win a battle, but we don't want Pyrrhic victories, I mean, that's pretty much like a defeat, right? With so many enemies. You know what, you stay, you wait. Oh, they are moving. I 
not good. I can, yeah, I cannot, I can, uh, uh, you use the cavalry archers to kill some of them, although some of my somewhere I will get hit as well, I think. You know what, I'm gonna use my daimyo. Because he'll replenish his army anyway. Mm, wavering. How many... Yeah, you're somewhere. Oh yeah, what he's doing is move... He moved closer so he can uh, shoot on my cavalry. Man, exactly what I uh, hate about uh, bridges. Even if you have a numeric superiority, you cannot do anything, any maneuvers. Okay, so his army is uh, crushed. I mean, his samurai, uh, yeah, his samurai are crushed. Okay, what I'll do now is just kill as many of them as possible. Oh, his troops regrouped. Run, they are running away again. Don't stay. Look. Just attack. Okay, this is just a enemy Taisho is running from defeat. But his dishonor and our swords will chase him to his grave. Okay. Come on, you can you can do better than this. Try and kill as many as possible. Ah, too late now. So, mm. not horrible. I lost some Yari. Yari Samurai, but that's not bad. As for here, I'm recruiting, right? Yeah. And I'm gonna put another one in queue just in case. Another two units, just in case I forget. And I'm gonna I'm thinking about increasing the taxes. As well here, nothing else ca I can do. You know what I have? Mm, I cannot move any of those troops in here. Okay, that's it for this episode. First episode. Uh, see you, I hope you enjoy it and see you next time.